Okay, Brock, today's book is Oops. It's another Preston Pig book, so let's see where he is. It was the same old story. Mr. Wolf was hungry. Mr. Wolf was very hungry. And Mr. Wolf had his eye on Preston Pig. Mr. Wolf was hungry for three very good reasons. Number one, Mr. Plimp, the shopkeeper, had banned him from his shop for eating the customers. Number two, Mr. Plump, the park keeper, had banned him from the park for picnicking on the visitors. Number three, Miss Thump, the school teacher, had banned him from the school grounds for snacking on the students. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? Not me. Yeah, go get him, miss. Don't look at me like that. I'm the big bad wolf. It's my job to be nasty. These stories would be pretty boring if I was good, wouldn't they? Suddenly, there was a huge crash. Oops, said Preston. You silly pudding head, said Preston's mom. Get out from under my feet and take that basket of food to your granny's. She's not well. Yes, mom, said Preston. And tell granny I'll be over later to chop her some wood, said Preston's dad. Yes, dad, said Preston. And put your coat on, said Preston's mom. Yes, Mom, said Preston. And don't slam the door, said Preston's dad. The chimney pot is loose. Slam went the door. Oops, went Preston. Hmm, red food, basket of food, Granny's house. That reminds me of a story. But which one, said Mr. Wolf, just before the chimney pot landed on his head? Mr. Wolf picked himself up and followed Preston. I'll take a shortcut through the woods and get ahead of him, said Mr. Wolf. But Mr. Wolf did not like the woods. Woods were full of nasty, itchy, scratchy, bitey things. Oi, ow, ouch, yow, eek, how! I wish I could think of which story the Red Hood reminds me of, said Mr. Wolf crossly, as he pulled thorns out of his bottom. Ow, ouch, yow! I know it isn't the three little pigs, said Mr. Wolf. But I do like that story, especially the part when the wolf eats the three little pigs and escapes. Well, that's how my mom used to tell it. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Mr. Wolf tried some cunning wolf trips to catch Preston, but he didn't have much luck. What a silly place to leave a banana skin. Someone might have slipped on it. Cunning trick number one. The Old Banana Skin Ploy Cunning Wolf Trick Number Two The Old Dig a Deep Pit Dodge Oh, what a pretty butterfly! Cunning Trick Number Three The Old If All Else Fails Bash Him on the Head with a Big Stick Plan A Daisy! Oops! Preston reached Granny's house safely. Mr. Wolf was fed up. He was hot and sticky scratched, stung, and bitten. And I still can't remember that rotten story, said Mr. Wolf. Suddenly there was a huge crash. Oops, said Preston. Mr. Wolf sneaked up to the window, and this is what he heard. What big eyes you've got, Granny, said Preston. All the better to see you smash my teapot, said Granny. What big ears you've got, Granny, said Preston. All the better to hear you smash my cup, said Granny. What big teeth you've got, Granny, said Preston. All the better to gnash when you smash my sugar bowl, said Granny. Hey, cried Mr. Wolf, those are my lines. I remember that story now. It's Little Red Riding Hood. Mr. Wolf leaped through the window, tied Granny up, and stuffed Preston in a sack. Now let me think, said Mr. Wolf. How does that story end? He was just opening the door when he remembered. Oops, said Mr. Wolf. Here's Daddy, said Preston. And they all lived happily ever after. The end!